Thank you. Hey, Brother Creech. If you um if you are if you're ready to sing this morning, you go ahead you go ahead and sing. You don't you don't you don't make a difference to me and hurt my feelings at all. Because we'll go with the schedule, man. No, it's really I I can sing next week. It's really not to be a deal to me. If you're prepared this morning, I don't want you to I don't want you to think that I didn't want you to sing this morning. I want you to go ahead. If you're ready this morning, I told you that. No, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. If I told you one thing and make, I'm not person to change my word. No, we'll we'll, so, we'll go with we'll go with next week. Are fine. you sure? Be fine. Sure. Okay, because I I can sing next week. I don't care. It'll make a no. difference to me. I just didn't want you to. This is fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to upset you or make you upset or hurt no. you because I I'm not that way at all. No, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. I'm just making sure. Okay. You run the show, so we well. No, no, it don't. It don't. It don't matter to me. It don't make right. a difference to me. I, I just. No I, I couldn't remember if I told you this Sunday or not, and so I didn't want. Like I didn't want you. I didn't want to. Like I didn't want to. Why you show up this morning like all for singing? Didn't know that. Yeah. So yeah. it's not that I wanted to yeah. take you off. Yeah. I want you to sing because I've been missing hearing you sing. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just making sure. Right. Are you gonna? Huh? And put it online? Yeah. Where's Where's Daryl at? Over there. We'll, we'll, we'll go get him and tell him to come up here and sit and do this today. Slide down, 
Hey, don't, you, can't, you can't touch that thing at all. Don't even, don't even look at it. Don't even touch it, okay? You can, you can sit right here as long as you want. Just don't even touch that thing. Miss Julie's going to smack your head if you do. Yeah, I will. Hey. Don't touch it. Sing in the choir? You don't touch it. I'm not touching it. Yeah, you are. No, oh, I'm yeah. You are. Mr. Minnie out? Yeah. Are yeah. we have a lot of people out? Well, that's what Kate just said. You said that? Okay. We still have quite a few guys here. Okay. Michael and Brian's here. Well, we still will still sing. Yeah, we still will have choir. Okay. Yeah. I'll go. I'll go. Are you, are you coming to sing? No, I can't. Come on up. Yeah. yeah. You know I sing because. Yeah, we're still going to sing play. Yes, sir.
Let's sing hymn number 56 to God be glory. Great things he hath done. Let's sing this together this morning.
music we got this morning. I hope we're singing about the Lord. Yeah. Let's all stand and sing together. The Lord to his name. 493. Let's all stand together. Sing all four. Stand three seconds. Let's all stand and sing praise to his name. Down the cross, my Savior, now on the first two now. Down the cross, my Savior, now on the first two now. Some money for food, so I said around $20. So 
wanted to remind you about that. And also, just one more quick note this morning, uh, for all those teenagers, remind you when tonight about your team auction jobs. Make sure you get those done. If you bought somebody, uh, we can see Aaron or Sally, ask her about that, and um, we'll uh, get those jobs done. All right? Thank you so much. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our service today. It's a holiday weekend. The last one, I guess, we call before the big school season kicks in. It's already kicked in for many of them. And several of our folks are out of town, but that's all right. I hope they have a good time and uh, choke on all the food they eat. Going out to eat out of town all the time and eating all, eating all that good food and all that stuff. But anyhow, I hope they have a wonderful time. We got, I mean, we got, we got over 20 out today that told me they're going to be out of town. Uh, family reunions, vacation, different things like that. So let's pray for them. And I see a lot of new folks here visiting with us today. We're glad you're here. We, we're thankful that you came today to fill in those that are gone. But uh, we're so thankful that you're here. And hopefully you'll uh, just be welcomed here today. We want to do all we can to make you feel welcome. And uh, praise God. Thank you for uh, your prayers for many of the folks of this week. Uh, Miss Francis came to... Uh, Flying color, so far so good, and uh, we want to continue. She said that she's pretty adamant about trying to be here today, but I know how that works. Uh, but uh, she is still doing well, and we praise God for that. Continue, continue to pray uh, for them as well, and uh, that God will touch. Uh, she's been through a she's been through a rough spell this week, mm -hmm. operation, and everything, but God touched her. Amen. Yeah. We prayed right there last week, and God just uh, God brought her through it, and we. We thank God for that as well. So, also want to mention uh, uh, Sister Wanda Robinson there. Her grandmother did pass away. You got it on the call and post as well. And uh, the, the viewing is tomorrow. Uh, I, I think it's from two to four is one of the viewings. Uh, and then the uh, the, uh, the funeral will be Tuesday as well. That, that, this is at Okies in Benton. Okay. I'll have more details tonight uh, about that. And I just wanted to make mention of that. Uh, we, we were kind of expecting this, and she's, uh, Miss Wanda's doing okay, and uh, she said she was, uh, I think, 86 years of age, grandmother knew the Lord, and everything's okay, and uh, knew Christ, and uh, uh, served the Lord uh, many years, and so isn't that wonderful to know that, and uh, Amen. to know that your grandmother is with the Lord, so uh, we praise God for that, and uh, I'll talk to Miss Betty back here about the, the sun and the different situations there. Sick but doing better. And so we praise God for that. And that, that's what it's all about. You want to tell them? You want to say any more about it? No, I just thank everybody praying for Amen. And that's what it's all about. And uh, we've got several prayer requests and different things. And so let's remember these folks from one another uh, this morning and ask God to be with them. Now, we've got a special announcement I want to make right here. And this is for everybody. This is for all visitors here today. Many of you visitors that are here might not know what we're doing today. We have a scheduled today, a scheduled dinner today. It's a fundraiser for Bible College students here, uh, the girls at, of the Crown College. And uh, what we're doing is uh, any kids 12 and under uh, can eat free. And so we've done it that way. Any kids 12 and above. Uh, teenagers, we're just asking for any kind of donation, and the adult plate is eight dollars a plate. Okay, you are welcome to stay. I mean, spaghetti, all the salad you want to eat. I mean, we've got plenty of bread, dessert, sweet tea, lemonade. I mean, we got the works. Okay, now those of you that are going, everything is upstairs. Okay, so if those of you are going to get it to go, some of you got several orders for to go. You just go upstairs and make your order, and we've got the carry-out plates all ready for you there. And uh, matter of fact, we're going to serve everybody's in the carry-out. That way you can, uh, uh, we'll have leftovers, I'm sure. we got enough for everybody. We'd love for you to stay, and uh, we'll do the, all everything, take care of everything upstairs. You can pay up there if you haven't done that. Uh, Miss uh, Janet and all them, they're taking care of it. And so stay and eat. We want you to eat. We've got plenty of stuff. Uh, I've been, I've got spaghetti eyeballs, that's all I've seen from since Friday, amen, and so all, I mean, we've just been cooking, I thank God for many, many of the folks have just donated, uh, and it's just been wonderful, uh, Friday was a wonderful day, and uh, we took care of the daycare, and just, just had a great time, 
And I appreciate all the efforts and all the sacrifice that many of you uh, have just gave. And uh, that, uh, we thank God for that. And all of this, every bit of the labor, the sacrifice, the, 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 all the funds will go to the help these girls get through school, okay? And that's what it's all about. And so you stay today. If you're visiting today and you didn't know nothing about it, you stay. Please stay. Get you a, you, if you don't want to stay, just go upstairs and get you a plate and, and you can get on and go on down the road. You do whatever you'd like to do. We'd love for you to have a good spaghetti dinner if you'd like to contribute to that, okay? All right. Us as y'all come this morning, I wanted to tell you this. We need to get to thinking. I mean, can you believe tomorrow is the first? Can you believe this? The September. Where in the world is the year gone? Huh? Today's the first day. Well, I, I was thinking the whole month is September usually. They started days in September, and whenever it starts, praise God, it's September. Amen. I <laughs> see how we got that real good there. Amen. The reason I said all that is we and our church have got to get into a camp meeting mode around here. Amen. Amen. So next week we're going to be having we're going to be start having some meetings. We'll tell you more about it. We've got some some of the best exciting preaching coming this year. I'm excited about the preaching. Brother David Epps, the crazy preacher, is coming back. Amen. That's all I can tell you about him. And then we've got uh, Brother Jack Conley. We've got several other preachers that are coming this way. We've got uh, uh, Brother Bobby Lennon, Brother Jimmy Rose. Brother Jimmy Rose was 40 years missionary in Brazil. You don't want to miss this, dear brother. I'll tell you, he's a bright, powerful man of God. And so... We're going to have Old Fashioned Day, eating under the tent. It's just going to be wonderful. We're going to have a great time. And you'll hear, that's all you're going to hear the month of September about our camp meeting. Get the dates now. The, the dates of it is October the 9th through that Sunday the 13th. Okay? October 9th is, the, is a Wednesday night. We go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is a big day. And then Saturday we have a gospel singing. Sunday will be Old Fashioned Day, October the 9th. Through the 13th, okay? So you don't want to miss all of that. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful week. And uh, we're just excited about that already. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Thank the good Lord for today. And let's ask God to speak to our hearts and just and meet, meet with us in a special way. Brother Mike, pray for us, buddy. Ask God to help us today. Wouldn't it? Our Lord, most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you now, Lord Jesus. We just want to say thank you for your goodness and mercy to us each and every day. Thank you for this day that we can come, Father, yes. and worship you and lift our hands and praise your holy and precious name. Pray for that one who may be lost today who don't know you as Savior. Today is the day, Father, that they too can, uh, you know, just come to know you as the Lord and, and, Father, one day spend eternity with you. We pray for this offering, Father, that you bless the gift and the giver. And most of all, Father, we pray in this morning, Lord Jesus, that you just uh, speak yes, to our hearts. Yes, Lord, in a mighty way in this service that you'll be glorified and lifted up. And we'll just love you and thank you and praise you for all you've done and all that you're going to do. And I ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs>
aren't you glad you came to church on the holiday today? Amen. I'm grateful to see all of our business here, especially David and my three granddaughters. They came up. Michelle's over in Lynchburg. She had an uncle that passed away, and his service is going to be on Tuesday. Uh, so uh, she's over there with her mother and David and the girls are with us today, for which we're grateful to the Lord. But I'm grateful to see you here. Amen. We've had a good day thus far. The Lord's been good to us. Amen. And we can enjoy the day. Amen. Amen. Right now, stand with me if you would. Fellowship together. Amen. Amen. Your spirit never leaves me, even when I'm hurt. 
and you'll know what, see what I'm talking about. Let's read 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse number 30. It's talking about David in exile, running from his own son now, and see what the Lord is doing here in his life, and see what kind of help that David had here. Look at verse number 30, 2 Samuel 15. Verse number 30. You got it? Say amen. 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 Let's read verse 30 together. Verse 30 here. It says, David went up by the ascent of the Mount Olive and wept as he went up. Notice here, it had his head covered. He went barefoot. All the people that was with him covered every man his head, and they went up weeping as they went up. One told David, a fifth of Baal is among the conspirators with Absalom. David said, O oh Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. It came to pass that when David was come to the top of the mount, notice this little phrase here, where he worshipped God, behold, Heshua, the archite, came to meet him with the coat rent, and the earth upon his head, unto whom David said, If thou passest on with me, then thou shalt be a burden unto me, but if thou return to the city, say to Absalom, I will be thy servant, O king, as I have been thy father's servant hitherto, so will I now also be thy servant. Then mayest thou for me defeat the counsel of Ahithophel. I can't say that word too good, but verse 35, Hast thou not there with these they dark have a Abiathar the priest? Therefore it shall be, that what things swear thou shalt hear out of the king's house, thou shalt tell it to Zadar and Abiathar the priests. Behold, they, are the, they have there with them their two sons, Ahimeaz, Zadar's son, and Jonathan, Abiathar's son, and by them ye shall send unto me everything that ye can hear. So Hishuai, David's friend, came into the city, and Absalom came into Jerusalem. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we come to you humbly this morning. We ask you, Lord, for your touch and your presence. Lord, it would be nothing, Lord, for you to come down. Rend the heavens and show us your kindness today. We beg of thee today to pass by here today. Speak to every heart. Move in every pew here today. May the word of God go forth. May we be a blessing here today. We give thee praise. We give thee honor. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Help in this day. And we'll give you all the praise and glory. To the end, some child of God will be edified. Some saint of God will be lifted up. And, Lord, some soul will come to Jesus and know Christ personally as Savior. And so, Lord, help us today. We humbly ask you to help us today. We'll give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. You know, it is, it's not too fun to go through trials and troubles and tribulations, is it? I mean, who likes to go through anything like that? I mean, it's, uh, it can be downright painful, and, and at times it can be just overwhelming to us to where it physically drains us, uh, and we do not know what to do, which way to go, where to turn. Uh, I was uh, doing okay last Saturday night, and then about 1 o'clock in the morning, my sister calls me. And says, my mother is bad sick. And, uh, and uh, the way she texts me, she says, I think mama's having a heart attack. Man, that messed my whole evening up as far as Saturday night, 1, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Amen. And then had to come down here and preach with that all on my mind. And, you know, it's just enough. That enough is enough, isn't it? And, you know, when you get news like that, you don't know what to do. And, and it seems like... Uh, and wave after wave, and you just you just you get to where at times you find out, you know that's when you find out what you are really made of. Amen. That's fine. That finds out what what really comes through you, and what what God's made of you in the troubling times. Uh, for the child of God, we're all going to have those troubles, aren't we? Amen. Amen. 
Some of you are going through some right now. There's folks and families going through some uh, uh, troubles as well. And uh, But uh, we see here, uh, you can find out how strong your faith is. Uh, sometimes my faith is not too good. And sometimes, uh, uh, you know, been serving the Lord a long time. Some things you can handle because God matured you as a Christian. Uh, any Christian can worship God in the major keys of life. Amen. I mean, there's times when I come into church and praise God, God's a mile ahead of all of us. I come in here with a shout on my lip and I've got praise on my lip. I'm nothing going wrong. Everything's okay. And I'm just wanting to do jumping jacks in the pulpit. Amen. I mean, just feel like I can run around the building and shout the glory of God. Nothing wrong. And everything's happy and everything. And then there's another Sunday. That's right. You feel like David. Coming in here perfect, wore out, beat up, troubles upon troubles. Anybody listening to me today? Amen. Upon troubles. You feel like you're wore down. You take cover your head like he did. 